How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the fuzzy skin setting in Cura and how you can use it to apply textures to your 3D prints. Before we dive into any practical examples, the first question we want to answer is, what is fuzzy skin? The fuzzy skin setting in Cura will cause the outer perimeter of your 3D print to have a slightly jagged effect by adding a wave to it that can vary depending on the thickness you select. Selecting a larger thickness will create a larger offset for the outer perimeter. The larger the offset, the more pronounced the effect of the fuzzy skin setting becomes. If we go in for a closer look at the toolpath, we can see this offset very clearly. Now that we understand what the fuzzy skin setting does to a 3D print, let's print out a few files and look at some practical applications. You can visualize the fuzzy effect here as the extruder deposits the outer perimeter and wiggles back and forth. Before printing, you can also visualize the effect the fuzzy skin will have on the print by looking at the G-code. Using the toolpath visualization preview in Cura, we're able to go through and trace the toolpaths and visualize the outer layer, which is the fuzzy skin, and we can see exactly how pronounced of an effect it will have on our finished part. This model was printed with fuzzy skin disabled, 0.1 and 0.3 millimeter thicknesses. Our control model had a little bit of banding, but has a fairly clean vertical surface. The 0.1 millimeter thickness setting didn't look textured as much as it looked like a printer with some extrusion issues. The 0.3 millimeter model has a much clearer texture, and it almost looks like a piece of textured kydex, a textured thermoplastic known for its grip. Overall, the surface is very uniform, and it has the appearance of a quality texture. I also wanted to experiment applying the fuzzy skin texture to a non-uniform surface. This model of a bear I found on Thingiverse was a perfect fit, as it had some texturing built into the model, and it didn't have a whole lot of perfectly vertical surfaces. To activate fuzzy skin, type in fuzzy into the Cura settings and you'll get a few different drop-down options. The key setting here is fuzzy skin distance, which determines the offset of the outer perimeter. Cura does an excellent job of visualizing the texture before you send it off to print, and you can scroll through the model and visualize that fuzzy external perimeter before printing the model. I printed these models on the ANET ET4X DIY Kit 3D printer, which sells for under $200. I've been printing on this machine a lot recently, and you can find a link to a video where I share some thoughts about it at the top right. Overall, the model has a very uniform surface finish. The texture is applied evenly throughout, and it doesn't really look like a 3D printed model. It looks very uniform. Just out of curiosity, I repeated the experiment but changed the fuzzy skin thickness to 0.1 millimeters instead of 0.3. This had a much less pronounced effect when visualized using the Cura preview mode, but I was curious to see how it would look when it was printed. Here are the three models side by side, and just like with the pyramids, my biggest takeaway was the 0.1 millimeter fuzzy skin thickness didn't really look like a texture, it just looked like a printer that wasn't performing very well. Maybe it was out of calibration, or maybe it was using wet filament. To me, the clear winner is the 0.3 millimeter thickness. Overall, the fuzzy skin setting in Cura is a great way to add texture to a 3D printed part, but I'm not sure if it's something that I would use on every print. If you've used this technique before, or have an idea for a new application for this technique, feel free to let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and have fun printing.